Hey, hey, good people. Welcome back. Welcome to another exciting episode of the Wednesday Word, which means what? Well, it means it's Wednesday, first of all, and on Wednesday we do the Wednesday Word. Let me tell you what happens. Oh, there's a hashtag that goes with the Wednesday Word. Wednesday Wisdom. So on on Wednesdays, what I like to do, I'm going to crack open a dictionary. I've got this nice long list of success theme words. I'm going to crack open a dictionary. I'm going to look at, hey, what does this word mean? What's the definition? Where did it come from? What's the history? What's the etymology? Why? Well, one of the first lessons I learned from Grant Cardone. My name is David Bradley, by the way, training facilitator and coach with Grant Cardone. And so one of the first lessons I learned from Grant when I first started studying his content back in 2003 was that selling is a conversation and power comes from the words that you use. And so I want to make sure that the words I use uh, have power and that I know what they mean and I know what I'm talking about. And I want to give that to you guys as well. So what I do is I take these success themed words, I look them up in the dictionary, history, etymology, meaning, and then more importantly, what to do with this thing. How do you take this word and plug it into your sales and business in your life and get even more results than what you're already getting? And then what kind of wisdom can we get from these words, right? So let's get into today's word because it's a very, it's an interesting word to say the least. Uh, very much a lot, you know, this, this word may just represent 90% of my life, maybe 80. What do you think? I don't know. You tell me after. Okay. Here we go. You ready? Today's word is, it's something that you do every single day, whether consciously or unconsciously. And it is something that if you don't have complete control over, then somebody or something else does. Therefore, your conscience, conscious control of this word has a direct impact on the quality of your life. Now, if you have any form of paranoia, you're probably already freaking out. So let me just give you what today's word is. Today's word is train. T-R-A-I-N, train. It's the verb version of it. The definition of train, right out of Google. It's the first one, makes the most sense. It's the easiest one to move this word today onto the next stage. Definition of train. Teach a person or animal a particular skill or type of behavior through practice and instruction over a period of time. Used in a sentence, Johnny trained his cat to play fetch. Yoda trained Luke in the ways of the force. I am training for a marathon. Salespeople should train daily. Okay, so that's using the word train in a sentence. Etymology of train, where did it come from? What's the history? Means to discipline, to teach, to bring to a desired state by means of instruction. That's uh, right around the 1540s, okay? Earlier sense was this, draw out and manipulate in order to bring to a desired form. Let me just say that one more time. An earlier sense of the word train meant to draw out and manipulate in order to bring to a desired form, late 14th century. Specifically though, it was used in the growth of branches and vines. So you would literally train your branches and your vines in the field, right? If you're making wine, for example, grapes, okay? And then in terms of training, meaning the sense of a point or an aim, like you would train your weapon on the target, okay? But then the sense of fit oneself for a performance by a regimen or exercise, that didn't really show up until the 1830s. And we really didn't throw in travel by railway as recorded until 1856. So now what? What's the action idea? What's the wisdom? What are we going to take from this? Okay. Are you training you? Or are you getting trained? Think about that. Take that question to heart. Seriously. Are you training you? Or are you getting trained? And then by whom? Okay. 
How are you improving your skills? And how much control do you actually have over your behavior? Who is training you? CNN? Fox? Twitter? YouTube? The Facebook? Who or what is drawing out of you and manipulating you into their desired form? Very, very serious question. Who the is training you? Because if you're not, somebody or something is. Are you being trained by trends and fads, groupthink, somebody else's agenda? Information, knowledge, and wisdom should be collected, analyzed, and then decided upon. You get to be and should be in control. You can be the outlier. It is your decision. You get to create your reality. You are, whether you know it or not, you are creating your reality right now. And if what you have, if who you are, And what you know is not getting you the life you want to live. Do not waste any energy on blame and entitlement. Rather, train yourself. Study. Practice. Skill up. Grow. Life will not get better until you do. This has been your Wednesday Word. If you would like to start training yourself immediately on things like growing your primary source of income, adding additional flows of income, growing your pipeline so that they're chock-a-block full of opportunity, creating passive income for yourself, how to grow wealth like the 1%, head on over to cardonesolutions.com forward slash 10x your income. That's cardonesolutions.com forward slash 10x your income where you can start training yourself right now immediately for as little as 99 bucks a month. That's cardonesolutions.com forward slash 10x your income. This has been your Wednesday Word. My name is David Bradley. Be great because nothing else pays. See you soon.